Hey everyone, and welcome back to News of Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And coming at you with more Spider-Man news. Spider-Man's been getting a lot of love lately from the video games to the movies. And this is pretty exciting news, but I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and please take these news with a grain of salt because none of this can be validated at this time although i do want it to be true and i guess i can say for the most part all of us want this to be true but it is reported that andrew garfield and toby mcguire will reportedly show up in the final scene of spider-man 3. now i have no idea as to how we got this covered.com was able to manage to like scoop this up and actually cover this up because it's so far it's up in the air it's all rumors and i think this is really more than wishful thinking than anything else and than it is fact and as much as i would like to believe it i'm still gonna go ahead and say take it with a grain of salt but before i go on with the article and read it to you guys and then discuss i'm gonna have to ask you to go ahead and please subscribe to my channel i've noticed that only 56 percent of you who are subscribed to my channel only watch my videos and then 43.3 percent of you who are not subscribed to my channel watch my videos however on the plus side and within the last 28 days i gained 61 plus subscribers in the last 28 days that's 190 percent increase and that is awesome now still only 23.8 percent of you guys who watch my videos and who are subscribed to my channel have the bell notifications turned on so go ahead and please do so and turn that on i upload videos on the daily i also do live streams five nights a week starting between 8 30 p.m 9 p.m eastern time in the united states so go ahead and calculate what time zone that is for you so that way you guys never miss a thing and lastly go ahead and please join my discord i got a lot of people there like yourself and myself who like to talk about superheroes video games comic books anything geek news related we all like to discuss here i also have tons of channels for you guys to check out here you can submit your feedback your promos you can even rant and plenty more to do there's a lot of cool people here that you should go ahead and chat with um you will see most of these people in my live streams that you can chat with as well but Please don't be shy. Go ahead and join the Discord and we will all welcome you with open arms. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get to the article. So Andrew Garfield and Tommy McGuire will reportedly show up in the final scene of Spider-Man 3. Up until the other day, everyone was convinced that the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man 3 would follow a relatively straightforward narrative that would see Tom Holland's Peter Parker on the run after being framed for the murder of Mysterio and having had his secret identity revealed by the world by J.K. Simmons returning J. Jonah Jameson. Now, before I continue with the article, I just want to say that if the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Disney, Marvel, was able to snag J. Jonah Jameson, or J.K. Simmons, who plays J. Jonah Jameson, um, the same J.K. Simmons who played J. Jonah back in the Raimi films about 20-something years ago, almost 20 years ago, I should say, um, I don't see a problem with them snagging Tobey Maguire, the original Spider-Man, and Andrew Garfield. Uh, because, I mean, if they can do that, I don't see why not. I mean, this will be ideal. This would probably be the quintessential Spider-Man film, the Spider-Man 3 for the MCU, featuring the OG Spider-Man, and uh, also a fan favorite, Andrew Garfield, and, of course, the current Spider-Man. And this will be, like, the start and the kickoff of a live-action um, Spider-Verse movie for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, moving on, sorry to, to digress, the web-slinger would race to clear his name while also fending off a famous comic book villain or two. And everything would be back to normal by the time the credits rolled. However, the addition of Jamie Foxx to the cast has turned everything we thought we knew about the movie on its head. Having already played Electro in Sony's The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the Academy Award winner's return to the fray makes it look increasingly likely that the foundations are being laid for a live-action Spider-Verse. WandaVision and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness were already set to go all in on the idea of alternate realities and branching timelines, but nobody could have guessed that Spider-Man 3 would be so heavily affected by it. Of course, the rumor mill has since kicked into overdrive about who else could potentially make a comeback for Spider-Man's third solo adventure, with fans already crossing their fingers in the hopes that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield might swing by to lend a hand. And according to the tipster Mikey Sutton, that is indeed the plan, but the previous incumbents of the skin-tight spandex won't appear until very last scene in the movie. Insiders tell me that Maguire and Garfield are being discussed to appear in the final scene of the Spider-Man 3, he says. Each of the MCU Spider-Man movies has had a draw-dropping ending. Sources say this is what 
they have in mind for three. How they got there will apparently be as startling as them showing up. The answer to that is a gift that is still wrapped. Both of the MCU Spider-Man films so far have ended on major cliffhangers, so it wouldn't be a surprise if the third installment were to do the same. But cutting to black, just as McGuire and Garfield showed up would certainly be the biggest one yet by some distance. So I agree with that. Uh, so far, the last couple of films have ended in major cliffhangers. But yes, having them show up and towards the end and then cutting to black afterwards would be an incredible major cliffhanger. I mean, it would pretty much make us all scream and fanboy and fangirl all over the place. Uh, and that'd be the ultimate and the best cliffhanger we'd have to date as far as the MCU Spider-Man movies go. And it can ob obviously lead into a uh, potential live action Spider-Man uh, Spider-Verse film. So I'm pretty excited for this, guys. You go ahead and let me know your thoughts. Do you want to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield return as Spidey? Uh, what are you looking forward to the most in Spider-Man 3? Who do you think is going to be the major villain in Spider-Man 3 for the MCU? I'm looking. I'm thinking it's going to be Craven the Hunt. And also, how will the Spider-Verse storyline fit into Spider-Man 3? Is it going to be kind of like a side story that's pushed off to the side where it won't be addressed to the very end? Is it something that's going to be hinted out throughout the film? I have a lot of questions. I just hope that because we're going to be getting more than one villain in Spider-Man 3 in the MCU, that it's not over convoluted with villains and subplots and plot holes. And you know the gist of it. These things can make a movie fail hard if you were to over convolute it with a bunch of things such as like subplots, plot holes and other storylines and whatnot. So overall, like I said before earlier in the video, take this with a grain of salt. Nothing about this is confirmed. This is just coming from some sort of insider. Until then, we will just have to wait and see until Sony makes an announcement or at least somebody who's affiliated or works with Sony or Marvel Studios makes some sort of announcement and confirms that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield have lined up for a role in Spider-Man 3. And obviously we will know what role that is for. So until then, guys, keep an eye out. Turn on that bell notification. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and stay tuned for more live streams I got coming up this week. And with all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And I'll see you all in the next comic panel.